what is going on traders and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome glad to have you now in this video we're going to go over a few plays that you may want to consider adding to your watch list for the trading week beginning october 4 2021 let's get started now there's a few catalysts we want to watch out for this week, the first of which is the infrastructure bill. Now we've all been watching them drag their feet on this for uh, quite a while now and all the plays associated with it have suffered, namely the EV charging companies like ChargePoint and the industrial plays like John Deere. Now if the lawmakers decide they want to play nice and work with each other and pass this thing, Watch for some of these plays to move to the upside. Now, on the other hand, if they delay this even more and they continue this infighting, look for those same plays to consolidate or even dip further. All right. The second catalyst we want to look out for is more COVID pill news. Like I mentioned in my last video, Merck is looking to get emergency use authorization from the FDA. So any news about this could set something off. Now, if they do get the approval, look for the other players in the field to drop. So that'll be tickers like MRNA, BNTX, PFE, and AVIR. Now I wanna share with you a few tickers that I noticed are at strong support levels. You might wanna consider adding these to your watch list also. First up is Nike. As you can see here, ever since Nike hit 174 back in August, it's been having a hard time. It's been dropping and now it's dropped to the point where it's reached a prior uh, resistance level. Back here in January, it was having a hard time getting over this level. So it was rejected once, twice, three times, four, five, six times, and this was selling off until they had a really good earnings report back in June where it gapped up and went on a nice little run until we hit that 174 and here we are again today. Now, as you can see, for the last three days, let's zoom in a little bit more. For the last four days, Nike's been having a hard time getting over this level, all right? So if we zoom in again, it's been having a hard time getting over this level. If it can't break above this, look for Nike to maybe drop to 139 or even 135, okay? The next one I wanna show you is 3M. Now, as you can see here, Back in January, 3M spent quite a few days in this channel here before it broke out. Went on a nice run, and here we are again today. Now, what I found interesting about this level is that it didn't start trending in this range here in January or even in November of last year. If I zoom all the way out, you can see this net level has had some sort of significance since June of 2019. All right, so let's zoom in back to today. So what we're looking for here is either a break above or below this range right here. If 3M falls below this level, look for it to drop to 171.50 or so. Now, or if it breaks above this level, look for it to go on a nice run, maybe up to 190 or 200 bucks. That'll be a nice one. So keep this one on your list. Next up, we want to keep our eyes on these crypto mining companies. On the screen here, I have Bitcoin futures on the four hour chart. As you can see, on October 1st, Friday, Bitcoin had a nice push up and it's continued up until now. So what we want to look for is if Bitcoin runs, you know the Bitcoin mining companies run too. And it's going to be the usual suspects like Mara, Riot, coin can and hut now here's something that i didn't see coming it was how well the sequel to the venom movie did it made over 90 million dollars this weekend now this is the highest box office total for an opening weekend since the pandemic began so this is just another sign that consumer discretionary spending is up so it may be in your best interest to start looking at beat down stocks in this sector for a possible rise in the coming weeks to months. Last thing I want to mention is something random that I came across this weekend. It turns out people have been buying RVs. People who were stuck indoors last summer because of the pandemic didn't want to relive that again this summer. So they went out and started buying RVs just to get out of the house and you know be able to travel and do it safely. So here's a couple of companies that have benefited from these sales and the charts look pretty good too. 
first one I want to show you is Winnebago, ticker symbol WGO. As you can see here on the weekly chart, they had a great week last week. It shot up so much, it passed the 30 SMA and the MACD crossed up, so you know I'll be watching this one. The other one I want to show you real quick is Thor Industries, T ticker symbol THO. They had two good weeks in a row, and this one popped above the 30 SMA and the MACD is just starting to cross up. So these are two that I'll be watching and you might want to watch them too. And that is the end of the video. Here's to you having a successful and prosperous week. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more content, including tutorials on how to navigate the Thinkorswim and Weibo apps. Talk to you later.